It's that time of year when the bees come out, and although they're a vital part of the environment, they can also be dangerous. Good evening, I'm Nicole Hickel. And I'm Chris Jacobs. One woman found out the hard way just how much of a scary situation this can be. CBS 4 Stephen Seely is with us right now. And Stephen, you visited this woman's home, so just how bad was the infestation? It was a scary sight to see. As soon as the beekeeper removed the boarding, I just saw these bees come out, and I even saw created honeycombs that the bees had created. The infestation has actually gotten so bad that the family says they can't even live in their homes. I can't make noise inside the house until about 8 o'clock. Candy Rodriguez is facing a bee problem so fierce she had to move her family out. So I took my kids back to Mexico to my husband and told them to keep them over there until I get this fixed. Rodriguez has seen bees set up massive hives in her home for the last four years. They nest inside the walls, the ceiling. I usually have to pay the bee man $100 for him to come and spray, but it never gets rid of them. Rodriguez is highly allergic to bees, so the infestation can be particularly dangerous for her. Once, she was even sent to the hospital. Last year, I got stung by one bee. My whole arm swelled up. I could not go to work because it was so swollen. I couldn't move. What started off as one quickly turned into hundreds. The average homeowner doesn't own a bee suit like the one I'm currently wearing to safely remove bees from their homes. But once the problem starts to get this bad, it's time to seek professional help. Beekeeper Louis Slayton attributes the lack of rain to the aggression of the bees. Uh, it's a drought year, so the bees are going to be over defensive with the honey that they're producing right now. Once you see bees inside of your home, Slayton says there's more where that came from. By the time they notice it, it's probably been already a while that they've been there. And the longer they leave the problem, the more it's going to become a problem. He says the best way to take care of an in-home bee infestation is to call a professional. If you try to take care of the problem yourself, you could risk being stung multiple times. Now over the phone, Slayton told me that he's waiting for the bees to calm down before going back to the woman's home. And at night, when the weather is cooler, the bees are less aggressive. Then he will remove and relocate the bees, not kill them. In the studio with complete Valley coverage, Stephen Seely, CBS4 Valley, tonight.